Reading is a great habit. Most people, most successful people recommend a uh, single most habit or single most reason uh, they attribute for their success as reading. And when it comes to my field investing, it is all about reading. That is a raw material. But uh, most of us face a common difficulty when it comes to reading. Yes, it is the ability to recollect and remember that information that we read, especially when we read voraciously across different, uh, you know, books, different mediums, different subjects through digital, through books, hard copies and everything. It gets too difficult to uh, comprehend and remember those information uh, for a long period of time. The retention power is very less for human beings by default. So there should be some tricks and ways how you can increase your retention span, how to remember better. I have created five such methods, uh, you know, which which I find it useful when it comes to reading. And I'll uh, stay till then. I also have a book recommendation which you must read uh, if you have to uh, practice the art and science of remembering everything, right? So here are five such methods. The first one is create a document immediately when you are reading. So inside, on the side, you can create a document, whether it can be a paper, as simple as a book and paper, or it could be a presentation. I use, usually create it on a PPT and I store it in a folder, in, uh, in the reading folder. Right, so what happens there is, uh, when I read, I, I keep noting down key points, not like you note down hundreds of pages, just some 10 to 12 slides, translating, that will translate to the key takeaways from that book and Keep it uh, in succinct way so that it is easy for you to reread at a later point of time. Because when you fill it up, fill those slides or fill the paper with so much information that you read, it becomes difficult to one, it becomes difficult to retain. Second, uh, it becomes too re difficult to reread when you want to later point of time. Now, by creating a document, what how it is helpful is preferably in a soft copy. It is helpful for you to reread that, uh, revisit that later point of time so that you tend to retain more information the second time you read or the third time you read. Many a times it is important to reread the most important topics and subjects than to cover a very number of books. It is not the quantity of books or materials that you read that's important. It is the depth to which you read is more important. The depth to which you comprehend the information is more important. So creating a document helps. The second method is comprehend better. How do you comprehend better? One of the tricks I found is I create uh, a symbolic or a pictorial way of remembering things. So when I create this PPT, I'll show you on the screen the example. I create an image. I Whenever I read, I create an image by drawing it, uh, directly taking it from the Google Images and putting it in a PPT. Now, um, I'll show you through an example. You know, Example is 100 to 1 in stock market is a book that I reread last year. And this time, when I, I wanted to read it because I didn't remember many of the mo most of the information I read the first time. So this time I wanted to correct that mistake. And what I did is I created, uh, you know, a pictorial way of rep representation of remembering it. Look at this image. You know, these are slides from that book. You know, uh, I created a chart because it's all about investing, right? So I create a chart to remember this because I will remember this very easily. Look at this, a person hanging from a thread. So the message here is our why people fail to make fortune in the stock market because our failure has been to hold on to the investment. So it is a pictorial representation. Look at this, uh, taught his race, you know, about finishing the investing game, right? Uh, you know, or I put an image of a person who said that. So how do you remember this? So this image will stay in your mind, including the color patterns mostly. So this is very helpful when it comes to uh, remembering things, creating an image and the message associated with that image so that you remember. The third one is go for hard copies when it comes to reading, but go for soft copies when it comes to taking notes in terms of putting it in an image or a presentation, right? Because it's easy both ways to maintain, it's easy to maintain soft copy. When it comes to reading, it is very easy to make notes then and there in the hard copy, right? It is also useful to make cop uh, notes in the hard copies like underlying. You know, you need not only visit uh, the presentation when you have to revisit, you can also take the same hard copy and go through it again just like the way we do it in colleges right so it's even better when it comes to hard copies because one when it is printed material you don't have distractions when you uh, you know when you read it digitally there is so many notifications through your apps you will be tempted to go to the uh, you know uh, checking uh, your social media whatever right so in order to avoid that temp distractions and in order to put that filter on it is a good idea to take a hard copy and read it because it becomes 
the productivity or the amount of uh, material or information you can read is at least three four times more than when you read it in a digital medium so try hard copies the fourth one is apply filters you know go into a no disturbing area uh, when you read preferably reading uh, early in the morning 5 a.m 6 a.m when there is no sound you can you can easily get into a zone and uh, get into that uh, you know zone of reading and uh, uh, you know take away as much information as possible you can read at least two three times faster than what normal speed you would read you know when when there is a lot of disturbance and uh, notifications or noise or you know news around so it is a good idea to go into a no disturbance zone especially pick a time like early morning when there is no disturbance no noise around right fifth one is teaching is the best way to learn now share what you read I either teaching in a YouTube channel or a Udemy or a video or you can create a course in LearnDesk where I created my courses in LearnDesk so I teach as I learn and uh, you know and, and then when I teach I learn more I get into more research more I, I want to be more accurate there right so teaching is the best way to learn and remember what we learn thereby helping others also to learn so it's a, one of the best ways to uh, proliferate the information or spread the information and also increase what you know because you go deep dive when you have to teach right so these are five best methods I thought you know that would help everybody to recollect as much information now when it comes to the book uh, it is a New York Times bestseller maybe you would have read this otherwise do go through this moon walking with Einstein the Art and Science of Remembering Everything is written by Joshua Fire. Now it's a great book, a lot of uh, practical examples and very interesting read. Uh, it talks about, you know, how to even remember poem, poems and all that. So it's a great, great read. Uh, that's a book recommendation I had. Trust this was helpful. Thanks for staying with me. Signing off, Sandeep Anand.